body may start to notice before you ever see it. Our health reporter Haley Hernandez is here with the symptoms that your house has mold. Haley. Good morning, guys. So a Woodlands mom, Emily Rochelle, wants you to tell you what to look for. She's a survivor of toxic mold and in honor of her son, wants others to know what you can do to protect your family. This is called the mycotoxin. Test. After being and dismissed by a number of doctors, level Emily level says level she level found level a mold specialist who confirmed her house so the was the reason for her chronic pain and fatigue. Two years later, her family's in a new home, physically better but still agonizing about what mold did. Emily says her baby died after birth and she blames his death on toxic mold. Well, there needs to be more testing options when people are, are continually going back to doctor's office. Mold can cause asthma attacks, eye, throat, skin and nose irritation, headaches, stuff and wheezing. Emily says it's from mycotoxins. That's what the mold produces uh, that goes into the air. That's what you inhale. That's what lands on you. Emily says her experience led her and her husband on a business adventure to help others detox. Josh says knowing where to look and identifying a problem can save your health. With this tool, he's able to check humidity levels, which should be about 50 or below. And it will take weeks if you do not have professional industrial equipment to dry out the wood. But with such widespread hurricane damage and not enough mold inspectors across the region, homeowners are rushing to fix houses. So every inspector is completely busy right now. And um, that's my other fear is that they're not going to want to wait. According to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, to prevent mold, keep your house clean and dry, fix water problems such as leaks, always use ventilation fans in bathrooms and kitchens, and if possible, keep the humidity in your house below 50%, which is what I was just showing you. Mm -hmm. You can do that by using an air conditioner or dehumidifier. Yeah, very important. What about cleaning up and well, how to? Exactly. So that's everybody's question right now is how do I get rid of it? Exactly. You know, according to the NIH, everything has to go that's been in water, uh, carpets, padding, furniture, and then you can use a microfiber cloth and disinfectants to get rid of the mold, like on studs and everything. The NIH recommends half a cup of bleach with a gallon of water. Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah, tough job to clean that. Yeah, it's going to be a mess for a long time. I think we'll be seeing seeing this pop up yeah. for for a while. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Haley. We appreciate it. Okay. Well